Today is going to be a what's in my makeup bag. I did a what's in my bag video last week or the week before last week and I didn't go through my makeup bag because there was a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to go through it today. So this is my makeup bag. I got it from Forever 21. It was probably like around 480, 580, something around there. And it has like little daisies on them. And inside I have my brow brush. It's Sonia Kashik, and I just keep this in my makeup bag just to tame my brows throughout the day in case they get a little scraggly or anything. I also have an EOS lip balm. I don't know what color this is or which one it is. It's like the light pink one, so if you can find it, it's the light pink one. I also have the Oahu Coconut Sunset Fragrance Mist. This was in my um, haul video that I did last week, so if you haven't seen that video, go and watch that video. I did a lot of shopping. So this is the fragrant, Fragrance Mist. I also have a Stila Lip Glaze. This is what I have on my lips right now. This is in the color Kaleidoscope CG. And I didn't think I was going to like um, sparkly colors, but I actually really like this. Like it's like a soft pink kind of color and then there's sparkles on it. Like it's not just sparkles everywhere. So I really do like this. I also have... Um, a little travel lotion. It's Jergens uh, Intense Moisture Therapy and I don't know this was probably like just a dollar or something at Target or Walmart. I don't know where I got that from. I've had it for a while. I also have a contouring powder. I don't use this like all over my face and I don't use this every day but when I do use it I find myself having to touch up throughout the day so I just keep this with me and it's in the color. Well it's by CoverGirl Queen Selection because I tried to go to Ulta to find um a bronzer that I could contour with but everything was either my shade or lighter so I went to I went to Walmart and I found this and it's CoverGirl Queen and it's Q120 in ebony bronze and it has a little bit of shimmer in it I don't know if you guys can see that but it has a little bit of shimmer in it and it works perfectly with my skin tone um, oh, so if you're my, my skin shade or darker, I say go to Walmart and look for the CoverGirl Queen selection and they have some contouring powders if you can't find it anywhere else. So that would be a good choice to do. Um, I have the Cat Eye Maybelline Mascara. The print kind of rubbed off. I've had it for a while, but I have this in there. I also have a black eyeliner pencil. I have the Naked, uh... Rule 34 lip gloss. I have a little Germex. It's the pomegranate scented uh, Bath and Body Works one. So there's that. I have. So I don't find myself doing um, winged liner that much just because I'll get one eye perfectly and the other eye will just be jacked up all the way. And I'm not okay with that. So I don't want to, like, I want to take the time to do it, but I don't want to have to keep doing it over and over again if you know what I mean so when I do do it I find myself rubbing it off through the day because I forget that it's there because I never do it so I have the um Kat Von D tattoo liner and it's in um I thought that was a spider I was about to freak out I thought um but this is the tattoo liner it's in a travel size one I got this um from Sephora it was in one of like the little catalogs or something that they send for a free sample or something so I got this I need to buy the full size of it though because I can't, I was going to get the benefit of um, their new push-up liner but I think I like the end of this one better like I don't know if you guys can see that but I like the end of that one this one better than probably the other one I feel like the other one will be more for thicker cat eyes and I kind of like the thin ones so there's that I only have four more things. I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and it's in a travel size one. This came with my Full Exposure palette and if you guys want me to do some makeup looks with that palette um, like this video and let me know in the comments down below because I really want to do some tutorials and stuff but um, this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I have a Dream Bouncy Blush and it's in the color Candy Coral number 30 so there's this. I really like those blushes. Those blushes, like especially for summer or springtime, it just sticks in your skin. So I really like that. I have another Stila Lip Glaze in Pout D6. And I thought this was my favorite one, but I may like the other one that I used today better. I don't know, because I use this one a lot more, but that other one's pretty cool. And then I have a Pink Baby Lips for Chapstick. 
and that's everything that was in my makeup bag thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and like this video follow me on twitter and instagram everything will be down below um i did something different with my hair today i blew dry it and um well i didn't blow dry because i don't want to put that much heat to my hair so i blew dry it last week and I tried to do like a little mohawk looking thing. I don't know if it turned out good or anything. I, well, I think it's cute. But yeah, I really like my hair today. And I'm trying to come up with more hairstyles because I feel like having a TWA, it's hard having hairstyles or hard finding different hairstyles sometimes. Like you either just pin one side back or do like a twist out like it's not that much you can do at TWAs so I'm trying to find some more hairstyles so I can do a natural hair routine and a natural hair video of my like TWA hairstyles kind of I don't know like quick hairstyles for TWA um so yeah like this video subscribe and thank you guys for watching bye